what is up folks I've just realized see this app here that logo has changed photos so when I opened it <coughs> I saw that it's trying to force me to do things I don't want to do with all this stuff force you to log into this where's my video editor I don't know where my video editor is so now, when I try to get video editor, because that's what I'm used to using, my simple thing to stitch things, it keeps forcing you to get this clip champ. So, it says you need to get the Photos Legacy app. So let's get the Photos Legacy app. Video editor. Just pushing this, this bloody clip champ everywhere. Come on, man. I want my legacy. Let's see if we type in legacy. Actually, this is not the one I want because it's one video. Photos legacy. So naughty of Windows to do this. You guys are going to try to do anything and everything push us to use your new stuff, isn't it? Lip champ. <laughs> they said it was so easy to get. <clears throat> Microsoft, why do you do this to me? How to get it and open it and use it. Install Photos Legacy Windows Tutorial. Photos Legacy. <sighs> Let's try this guy's solution. See, if he's put a link there, that's exactly what I need in my life. Photos Legacy app. Yo, listen. I am going to share this link with you in the description of this video. Let's make sure we're getting the thing we want. Photos Legacy, get it. In the meantime, this guy can just get out of my taskbar. Okay, it's downloaded. But does it have what I want? It has my videos. Welcome to Photos Legacy. Launched to, to, to prefer. Okay, that's all good. Do I have my video editor? Yes, I do. And see, everywhere is just pimping out this clip champ, which is not the best software I've used. So I want to stick to this. I'm going to pin this one to my taskbar because I like this guy. I want to use this. So the good news is, even if you have the legacy one, you can still open your old one, which I don't want. So bye bye. But there you go. Hopefully, this helps. See you in the next one.